Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how you can connect your device to a five gigahertz Wi-Fi band, all right? Let's get into it. We know that Wi-Fi operates in mostly two frequencies, the 2.4 gigahertz band and the five gigahertz band. The 2.4 gigahertz band supports much longer distances, can easily penetrate through obstacles such as walls. The five gigahertz band, on the other hand, supports shorter distances, struggles with obstacles, but is much faster and less congested. All right, the first step to connecting your device to a 5 GHz band is by starting with your Wi-Fi router. If your router supports the 802.11ac, also known as Wi-Fi 5, or 802.11ax, also known as Wi-Fi 6, then it supports both the 2.4 and 5 GHz bands. Most routers by default combine both bands under one SSID or Wi-Fi name. This leaves your smartphone or PC to intelligently choose the best frequency band at any time depending on various conditions such as range, signal strength and network condition. You can however change the default setting of your Wi-Fi router so that each frequency band is assigned its own SSID. You can choose to name them whatever you want as long as you can identify the Wi-Fi name that corresponds to each of the frequency bands. To avoid confusion, I like to append a 5G suffix to the SSID that corresponds to the 5 GHz band. For instance, I would call the 5 GHz band Dave Wi-Fi 5G and just leave the 2.4 gigahertz band as dev wi-fi now the exact way you can assign separate ssids to the different frequency bands largely depends on your router's brand and model on my D-Link 885AC Wi-Fi router, for instance, to assign different SSIDs to the different bands, I log into the admin web interface of my router by entering 192.168.0.1 on my browser. Then I go to settings, then wireless, and then disable smart connect. This gives me an option of setting a Wi-Fi name and password for the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands. Then from my smartphone or laptop, regardless of the operating system, I simply connect to the SSID that corresponds to the 5 gigahertz band. Now, if you don't have control over the Wi-Fi network, you obviously can't change the Wi-Fi settings to different SSIDs for the different bands. So the alternative is to make changes to the device that you have control over, which is your computer or smartphone. Unfortunately, you can't do much with an Android smartphone smartphone, iPhone, iPad, or Mac computer. You simply can't force either of these platforms to connect to a specific frequency band. You can, however, set up your Windows PC to connect to a 5 gigahertz band. You can do this by changing the wireless mode and preferences of your Wi-Fi network adapter. All right, let me show you how you can do this, and I'll be using my Asus VivoBook Windows laptop. All right, so this is my Asus VivoBook Windows 10 laptop. And to force it to connect to a five gigahertz Wi-Fi band, all you have to do is to come to device manager and you can do that by simply searching for it here on the start menu. So uh, this is device manager here. And then we're just going to come to network adapters here. So collapse network adapters, and then look for the Wi-Fi uh, device here look for your Wi-Fi adapter here and for my case it's the dual band wireless AC8265 and then right click on it and then come to properties here and then under properties come to the advanced tab here you can see that uh, this Wi-Fi adapter supports AC, uh, 802.11ac and uh, 802.11g. Yeah, so that is Wi-Fi 4 and 5. So what you want to do is come to preferred band here. And then under this drop down here, you have three options, no preference, prefer 2.4 gigahertz band and 5 gigahertz band. So if you want to specifically connect to the 5 gigahertz band, I simply select prefer 5 gigahertz band and then click on OK, right. So 
when you connect to a Wi-Fi 5 router, like my Wi-Fi router here, the D-Link 885L, simply connect to it. And when you've connected to that router there, come to properties here, uh, just to confirm that it has actually connected to the 5 gigahertz band, you can see here uh, the protocol is Wi-Fi 5 802.11ac and under network band, we can see that it has connected to the 5 gigahertz band. Right, so that is how I know that uh, my laptop has connected to the 5 gigahertz band, even though the SSID here, DDWRT, actually intelligently combines both the 2.4 gigahertz band and the 5 gigahertz band but because i forced it to connect to the 5 gigahertz band it always prefers the 5 gigahertz band right so you can do this on windows but you can do it on a mac you can do it on an android phone and you can do it on an iphone you can only connect those devices if you separate the ssids of the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band from the router level all right that's how you can connect your smartphone or pc to the 5 gigahertz band if you found this video helpful give us a like and subscribe to the channel otherwise we'll see you guys in the next one